Hey everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On this video we're going to be doing the assignment Missing Science Crew. And we picked this one up right at this new outpost we made from this person, Priya Blake. Pleasure to meet you Pathfinder. Priya Blake, Captain of Outpost Taravuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. What's the problem? Is it the cat? No, at least I don't think so. A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Where were they going? Do you know where they were headed? I know the route, but we lost their tracking signal halfway through. I don't know how far they got. We tried to look at their research notes, but the data is corrupted. We have zero leads. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. I'll find them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get an app point. Outpost on Vold. We're staking a claim, but what does the initiative want with Vold? Look at the landscape. What do you see? Ice. A lot of ice. Water. Vold is a massive, endless source of it. We're proud to serve as the initiative's first ice runners. We mine the ice here and haul it to colonies where water is scarce. Like Eos. Even the Nexus. The more people we wake from cryo, the more resources we'll need. Our ice runners make sure water is never a problem. Teirv Uni. You picked a mouthful of a name for the outpost. It's Shalesh, and Garan language means forward together. It represents the close relationship we have with the Angara here on Vold. Glad to hear you're working together. This is their world. Because of you, they trusted us enough to give us a place in it. Now it's my job to cement that bond. We'll do our best to earn what they've given us. Priya Blake. Were you in the Alliance too? I was an Alliance officer for a decade before I got sick of being a pawn in the Council's power plays. Heard about the initiative and figured it'd be a fresh start. A chance to make a real difference. I'm ex-Alliance too. You ever miss it? Given the chance, I'd make this choice all over again. But when I see the resistance push against the cat, it makes me wonder if my days behind a gun aren't really over. Relations with Angara. I have to say, I'm surprised the Angara let us put an outpost here. A portion of the ice we mine goes to their blockade runners, who take it to resistance bases all over the cluster. Water for their soldiers. It feels good to do our part against the cat, however small. That's all. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Okay, so we got that assignment. Let's take a look. Missing science crew. News of missing scientists has come from the Vold outpost. Search lab for clues regarding missing scientists. So we'll be, oh, I didn't make that the active, did I? There we go. So we will be doing that, but we're also gonna check out the rest of this outpost. Okay, I got one for you. Here to Elodin, three hours, 42 minutes. Cute. <laughs> Don't tell me. Three hours, 18 minutes. Damn. So I get to meet the Pathfinder responsible for making this place happen. I'm Lizanna Telesso. Because of you, I have the best job in the galaxy. Which is? I'm an ice runner. I get to dodge the Scourge and outrun the cat to bring water to the colonies. Doesn't get more exciting than that. An important job. So you're responsible for the well-being of the colonies. That's a big deal. It doesn't fall on my shoulders alone. But I like making a difference. Lasana Telesso. How did you get into this job? I was a pilot for the Citadel fleet. Until I got bored and wanted something new. The initiative sounded right up my alley. I was one of the first to sign up. But how'd you end up at this outpost? I asked. Marched into Priya's office and told her I was the best pilot she'd get. Said I didn't care if the outpost was mostly ex-Alliance. I wanted in. I've been giving her trouble ever since. Ice running. So you mine the ice as a water source. Smart. I fly ice blocks to the Nexus. Eos. Even made a run to Havarl for the Angara. Speaking of which... Sounded like there was trouble brewing when I landed. Me and Garo were on edge. Maybe you should check it out. 
The Scourge. I've flown through the Scourge before. It's not easy. That's half the fun. I get to change my routes to avoid it, like I'm outsmarting it. I've had a few close calls where it shorted my nav system. Once, I flew blind all the way to the Nexus. There's no way you pulled that off. There's a reason I was the Citadel's best pilot. See you around. Take it easy. No fun in that. Okay, what else do we got? Over here we have a research center if we want to make anything. We've got a Turian frigate model for the ship. How far did the drill techs have to dig? They're already 30 meters deep, with no temperature change. This damn ice ball. Pathfinder, welcome to Scenic Vold. Hope you're enjoying the view. To the east, ice. To the west, more ice. Look on the bright side. At least you're not in cryo anymore, right? Look around. This is cryo. But I'll endure this frozen hell if it means completing my research. Vold's weather. You know, it was even worse here before I activated the vault. So I heard. Glad I wasn't around for that. Makes me wonder what this place will look like in ten years. Once the vaults had time to really work. Think it'll be up to your standards? My standards involve a beach and a healthy amount of sun, but we'll see. That dude just pushed me. How dare you? Your research. What are you researching? I'm studying ways we can harness geothermal activity as a source of energy. Believe it or not, below Vold's surface is a maze of heated geothermal vents. Keeps the planet from becoming completely inhospitable, but just barely. And you can use it as a power source. That's the hope. I hear the Angara are doing something similar, but they won't let me get close. So I'm determined to find the solution on my own. Nothing right now. I'm good for now. Don't freeze to death out there. Yeah, we got another container. I don't know why I said another. It's the first container we found here. But there will be more. So let's go outside. You can see it's not a huge outpost, but it's not exactly tiny. Uh, let's go up here. There's a second level. I find it very odd that they don't make, like, stairs or any way to get up here. Besides going outside and coming up. Especially in this freezing cold weather. Oh, you one. Here's our Pathfinder. Captain Blake says you're welcome to any tech in my stock. By the way, I saw your Nomad earlier. How does that thing handle? Like a dream. You have a ramp off a cliff in one of those? Best feeling ever. I knew it. Think I can convince them to send one here? I'll put in a good word. I like you already. Anyway, I have new tech in stock. See if anything strikes your interest. Okay, I don't want any of this stuff, however, I do want to sell my salvage, so let's get rid of that. And, uh, that's it from him. It's you, Bennett Kahale, reporting for duty. You need supplies? I'm your man. It's an honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Relax, Bennett. This isn't the Alliance. No need for formalities. Just call me Ryder. Sorry. Old habits die hard when Captain Blake barks orders like a drill sergeant. Captain Blake? Not an official title, of course. She earned the nickname because she runs this place like an Alliance camp. But I jabbered away for too long. You're here for supplies. Let's see what you have. Whatever you need, I've got it. Okay, and uh, nothing I run from him. So we're down in this little building. Let's go check out this one over here, although I'm not sure if there's actually anything in it. Let's see, is there any containers or anything? I know there's nothing to scan. Nope, nothing here. Okay, let's go check out another building. Actually, let me uh, 
Look on the side. But nope, nothing. Alright, uh, I guess we could check this one over here. I believe this building's like some sort of storage. Yep, there's a container. Okay, we've got... We've got the landing pads over there, nothing to see. Uh, we got the forward station, but I don't think that actually has a terminal. But let's take a look just in case. Nope, just loadout and research center. So, um... Yeah, this building over here. Oh, there's a container. Okay, and that just leaves the building with our objective, but we'll check the other two rooms first. We'll go in here, we got a container. Looks like nothing else. Okay, and then we'll check up here. And there's another container. Okay, so that just leaves our objective. This crate contains a prototype for a handheld ice drill. So they're developing a portable drilling method. Smart. Hand drilling device, handheld drilling device. Precision device for drilling and extracting ice shards for testing. Bryn Kemper, log 478. Ella narrowed possible, not found, sample sites to a single radius. Will error 224 to the site and take enough samples for her to test setting device with nav point error end of log sam you get anything from this mess analyzing it seems most of their data comes from a single nav point updating now let's move all right we have a new na nav point so let's open up the map we are going to fast travel to this forward station right here Okay, and on the way... Oh! That catch ship came in super fast. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Alright, anyways, we've got uh, a mining zone here, but we'll do this later. I don't really feel like mining at the moment. I've got tons of supplies, so... I'm not in any rush to knock this out. This is the nav point. Keep an eye out for Prius, me. Yeah, we got an IROC. I got this super powerful shotgun for him. Oh, and let me tell my teammates to attack because that'll make them do more damage. Just don't let them touch me. Ow. Well, did a bad job of that. Stay away. Huh. Can't seem to scan this guy. What's going on? Well, screw it then. We'll scan this. Transport vehicle, vehicle type, initiative transport, specification, model 47X. Diagnostic engine failure, high speed impact, burn damage, long range rem remnant weapon. Remnant? There's a remnant here? 
Got an IROC corpse. Species IROC, age, young adult. Cause of death, internal trauma, vehicle impact. Name, Oliver Dane, occupation, drill technician. Cause of death, internal trauma, long range weapon. Another corpse, Bren Kemper, occupation, geologist. Cause of death, long range shot, remnant weapon. Name, Mezgin Thomas, occupation, drill technician. Cause of death, electrical shock, vehicle impact. And I still can't seem to scan this corpse. It's not liking me. Well, screw it then. We'll leave it. We've got this data pad over here. Audio dictation log, Ella Minkov. We're nearing the sample site. Seismic activity seems unusual, but we have a lot to learn about this planet. Entering the valley. This doesn't seem normal. Bren, you're sure this is safe? We've passed several IROX, but they're all running away from the valley. I don't like this. Mezgin, let's turn back. Shaking's getting worse. This activity is off the charts. We're coming up to the... What the hell is that? It's... Mezgin, turn around! Go! Go! Oliver's hit! It's shooting right through the hole. Go faster! I don't care. Oh god, Oliver's not gonna make it. Keep driving, we have to get back to the... End of dictation log. Pathfinder, a nav point is attached to this log. I've updated your location device. Should I inform Priya we found her people? No, not till we take down whatever did this. Blah, bugs. Anyways, we've got a new nav point. So let's go check it out. And what the heck is that? It's big. It's very, very big. I can't. Good thing I love a challenge. Well, uh, they cut off for some reason. So that sucks. Anyways, let's scan it. Remnant Architect Classification Enemy. Origin Andromeda, the largest remnant... something. I wanna read the rest of you. The largest remnant... Construct. The Architect is indestructible, but once... Downed, it can be interfaced with and caused to abandon its directives. Oh crap, my uh, life support is like toast. I gotta get to a lamp. Okay, there we go. So, this guy basically has three attacks. He's got this one right here where he shoots a, like plasma rounds at you. That hurts. You want to avoid that at all costs. You need to take cover for that. His mouth will charge up this, which you need to just dodge out of. And it'll leave behind like an area that's lots of damage. He's doing another. Absolutely. And he's actually doing another. And then every once in a while, he's gonna spawn reinforcements. However, reinforcements are really weak. It's usually just an observer and two, um, and two breachers, I think they're called. So really nothing you need to worry about. Okay, legs back up. I need to attack that. He's shooting that uh, gun at me. For some reason, the leg... To oh, I didn't see the grenades. For some reason, the leg doesn't really seem to be taking damage. Maybe I should switch weapon. Try the sniper rifle on it. Well, that was working. Maybe I just need to get a little bit closer with the shotgun. Because the shotgun does more damage for me. We got reinforcements again. So anyways, it's a, it's a long fight, but it's not really hard, it's just unforgiving. If you get caught with pretty much any of his weapons, you're more or less dead. But they're pretty easy to avoid, you just gotta stay on point. Don't make any major mistakes and you'll be just fine. 
don't get greedy. It, it is gonna take a little while, so like, always dodge those. Those will kill you like nearly instantly. Make sure you don't get hit by grenades. Yeah, okay, I see what's going on. It's outside of my shotgun's range there, so that's why it was doing like no damage. So in that case, I want to switch to the sniper rifle. Get out of that. So even though that shotgun I have is very, very powerful, its uh, range seems to be a little lacking, although it is a shotgun, that's to be expected. But uh, unfortunately, I can't really get much closer. If you look near his legs, you'll see that like electric field around him. If you get in that thing, it just destroys you. Legs are weak. Oh crap! I didn't see those nades again. He's shooting. Get behind cover. Okay, we got that leg to half health. Aim for its head. Which means its head should be vulnerable for a while. And it is. Yeah, those nades. Shooting at me, get behind cover. So yeah, it's really just this for a very, very long time as you try to get through his massive amount of health. And oh, that nade got me a little bit. Oh, you can see how fast that just rips you to shreds. But I managed to get into cover. Got nades. Looks like we heard it. Reinforcements. Ah, reinforcements. I don't know, I think the sniper rifle might be doing slightly better for me. Ow, what the heck was that? Oh, the leg's back. Get away from those nades. Yeah, I think the sniper rifle's probably winning. Oh god! Move out of that. Got another one. And another. Oh, crap. I don't want to be over here. I don't want to be over here. Looks like we got reinforcements again. I don't know why he put his weapon away. It's not what I told them to do. I don't think so. Jeez, the damage on the shotgun. Absurd. Leg is back. We got nades. There we go. Shotgun's hitting there. And it's definitely the superior damage. Its health is just disappearing. Might be able to finish it right here. Got it. Okay, let's make sure we got all the ammo we can get, and then we gotta chase it down. Ah, uh, where you going? Don't let it flee. And uh, this area is hazard level two, so make sure you're not away from those vents for too long. And he's going that way. See, are you ever gonna come down? Oh, there he goes. Alright, uh, sniper rifle. And hopefully, yep, that's a vulnerable leg. Let's work on that. Oh! Nades! <laughs> oh, Jaw just ate all of them. 
Oh yeah, doing some good damage. Now just because I'm behind cover does not mean I'll be safe from that attack. That attack goes right through. Doing it again. Trying to bombard me. Not gonna work. Uh, I think he's summoning. I think he's getting reinforcements. Switch to the shotgun. What do we got? We got a breacher. I don't care about them. Where's the observer? There you are. Okay, back to the sniper rifle. Work on that leg. Oh god, we got nades. Well, at least I don't have to worry about his gun in here. That thing's brutal. I do have to worry about that, though. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, looks like we got reinforcements again. What if I'd be better off up top? Maybe. I wish I was close enough for the shotgun, but it seems a little too far. Got an observer. Switch the shotgun. Oh, no, he's not switching. Bad. Oh, he's still alive. Back on the leg. And is it me or is it not taking damage? Is it bugged? Oh, there it goes. Made him angry. We got nades. Okay, I need the shotgun. Yeah, if that's where it's at. Man, it's got so much health. No singularity. Maybe that'll help. Uh, what is that? Reinforcements, I think? Oh! I need, uh... I need environment protection. Let's see, I need ammo, too. Let's get some over here. What do we got? We got breachers. Why are these observers always hiding? Server, where are you? All right, well, get up here. I don't want to charge over there. Yeah, he's down. Oh, legs are back, apparently. Die, legs! Oh crap! I got too busy sniping. Let's see, can I go back to the entrance? Uh, I guess not. Let's back off. Play it safe. Hey, we got remains. We'll take that. Yeah, like I said, this guy uh, takes a little while. Although, if you wanted to be more aggressive, you could probably get rid of him much quicker. Because it's, it's really just a matter of how fast you kill his parts. But being aggressive on this difficulty is a good way to get yourself killed. Okay, legs are back. Got nades. Is 
See the gun coming out. Although I think I'm safe right here. Okay, out of that crap. Down into the safe area. Get another shot, back off. Get another shot, back off. And unfortunately, I don't think I can finish it. Nope, I'm gonna need one more round. I need more ammo. More ammo for me. Oh good, the observer actually came this time. Okay, should be able to finish him. Got it. Okay, is he moving? Yep, he's moving. Where is he going this time? Chase it down. Uh, don't come down on me. Cause that electric field will kill me. That's the thing, you gotta like chase it. You gotta make sure it doesn't come down on you. Cause you will die very, very quick in its electric field. But it looks like he's moving. We got remains here. See, maybe we could go. Yeah, let's go uh, over here. Hopefully, not too close. Uh, yeah, this should work just fine. Pocket feelings. See, where's? He's not doing any of his attacks. Oh, there we go. Get out of that crap. Oh, he's doing another. Out of that. And another. Now what are you up to? Oh, we got friends. We can just melee these guys down, save some ammo. Aim for its legs. Got nades. I need to find cover. This is not smart being out here. Here we go. I hear his gun shooting. I'm safe right here, so we can do some major damage. Yeah. Drack, get up. Okay, we should be good with shotgun from this direction. Or from this distance, I mean. Uh oh. Woo! That would have tore me apart. More nades. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing the damage from right here. No, uh, no, I am. Get out of that. Ah, jeez. Oh, get out! No, I need to... Oh! I need to switch to the uh, sniper rifle, I think. It's a little too far, and I... I got chased out. There we go, that's much better. He's chasing me out again. Uh, looks like more reinforcements. My ammo situation could be better. I think, I think this building might have some ammo up top. Because this ammo case has been uh, expended. Well, let's see. Let's get up top, see what we can find. Oh. 
Yeah, there's an ammo case. Let's go pick that up before we finish him off. Legs are weak. Oh, the leg. Thought it'd be the head again. Got nades. My life support's getting a little low. I need to be aware of that. He's doing the big gun. Oh, look out. Oh, he's doing it again. And again. And that leg's no longer exposed, of course. I don't like my ammo situation. Not a whole lot of it. Let's melee these guys down. Be conservative as possible. Yeah, he's almost dead. So let's get rid of these legs quick. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> made it through somehow. Okay, I might be able to get it right here. One more shot. Got it. Y'all get up. Okay, so it's just the face left, I think. Yeah, just the face left. Got okay, grenades coming in. And it's just close enough for my shotgun to be working, so that's perfect. We got plenty of shotgun ammo. Jump back here. The stupid electric field thing hasn't dissipated yet. Boom! Okay, I gotta run up and activate. We should tell Priya what happened here. And he is gone, expelled. All right, sweet, we did it. Took a little while, but he's done. So uh, let's check out this area, because I believe there's some mineral nodes, there's containers. We'll get all the goodies. And then we'll head back to that outpost. This building alone has two containers. It's nice. Okay. I believe we got everything here. Actually, let's check the scanner. Yep. I don't think there's anything to scan over here. So let's see. That's where I started. I think. Yeah, that's the first platform I was on. So I don't think there's anything over there. We've got, oh, thought that chair was a container. Got a container here, though. New shotgun, the Dawn 3. Oh, jeez, I should have fought here. Look at all this ammo. Could have been sniping. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. You don't say. Okay, this is the uh, second location we were fighting at. There's a container back here. What is this? This is platinum. We'll take that. Got some sort of drill over here. Not seeing any goodies. Except for right. There, looks like one. Yep. There's another one right there. May as well check through that door. But nothing there. OK. 
Okay, and then I think this building over here is the last one. Well, I'm not seeing anything. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Oh, here we go. And a container. Okay, I think that's everything. Guess we could run back to the center thing, see if there's anything on this this little ramp over here, but I don't think so. Yep, I believe we're all cleared. So let's go back to that outpost. And we got a new codex entry. I'm sure it's for the architect. Remnant Architect. A rare and awe-inspiring sight, architects are colossal remnant constructs that burst from the ground, using multiple element zero cores to hover and attack from above. They dwarf buildings and ground vehicles, and their armor is impenetrable, impenetrable to all known small arms fire, including mass accelerator rounds. Only the power cores on an architect's body appear vulnerable, and even they show signs of self-repair capabilities given enough time. Each architect is armed with multiple defensive systems, each extremely dangerous. Ferrofluid reservoirs and manufacturing peripherals allow it to create smaller remnant units to swarm enemies. Its most devastating attack is an electrically charged energy burst that swarms with fluidly replenishing shrapnel, overcharging shields and then shredding a target. Though an architect cannot be destroyed, disabling its power cores will ground it giving an opportunity to interface with its central processor and reprogram its current directives to compel it to leave. The name Architect precedes their initial sighting. PB claims she theorized the existence of a remnant that was responsible for excavating the space needed for vaults and for building other remnant infrastructure. These architects, simply by size alone, appear to fit that profile. Okay, so... Oh, we had a cache near here, but it's up on the cliff, so we'll have to do that later. Uh, but anyways, we're going back to the outpost. Okay, and I'm frozen. There we go. So back to Priya Blake. Make sure Fumiyoku keeps to himself. We don't need him spreading his bad attitude. Pathfinder, my scouts told me about your run-in with the architect. I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's over now. I pacified it. You won't get any more trouble. I should have known about it in the first place. I was supposed to protect those scientists. At least I know the rest of my people are safe, thanks to you. Your people. I tracked down your missing drill techs. They didn't make it. I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. That's all. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. Okay, and our assignment is completed. So, we are done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.